I'm here at JCPenney's and I'm getting ready to go to Sephora. I am in desperate need of some new makeup. I am trying to use up the foundation that I already have and so I think I'm just, maybe, I think I'm just going to get concealer and some powder. I haven't bought in powder in a long time. Usually I just use the liquid foundation. So that is what I have in mind. We will see what I come back with. I just left Sephora and I cannot believe it. So I went in, like I said, to get some concealer and what else did I need? And some powder. So I got my powder and they were out of concealer and they were out of the foundation that I wanted to try as well. So I got some other goodies and I am excited to show you. I think you guys are gonna love it. And I learned a lot. The girl in there was very informative. I can't wait to tell you what I learned from her. I'm excited to show you guys all of the goodies that I bought today. And I'm also excited to tell you a little bit about my Sephora experience. Sometimes I leave Sephora feeling a little not as welcome and sometimes I leave Sephora and they are very nice and helpful. So today I went into Sephora and I told the lady that was helping me that I was looking for a primer and I wanted to buy the Forever HD primer and she told me that the primer for my skin probably wasn't the best which is funny because usually when I go in there, they are always pressuring me to get that primer. She said that the Forever HD primer is for people with more oily skin and I have dry skin, so I probably would not love that. So she gave me a sample of the, the Smashbox Hydrating Primer. It, she just gave me a little sample, so I'm gonna try that. And I was just very glad that she was honest with me and told me what I would like better so that I wasn't wasting my money or time on a product that wouldn't work for my skin. And they were out of the concealer that I wanted as well. I wanted the Forever Full Coverage Concealer. I didn't get that unfortunately, but she did help me find a contouring powder. I bought the Sephora brand contouring powder and she also was very helpful to help me get this. She told me that the other contouring powders at Sephora are around $30 and she told me that she liked this specific one because it was only $16. So I swatched this on my hand and I also swatched the Hula From Benefit, their contouring powder, and it looked the same. So I stuck with the cheaper one, the Sephora name, so we'll see how that works out. I also picked up the Makeup Forever Finishing Powder and I haven't bought in powder in a long time because usually I just wear the liquid foundation and so I wanted to pick this up for summer just to have some powder on hand if I didn't want to do a full face every day. I picked up number 117 and this is what it looks like. So I picked that up and I'm really excited about that. I also picked up a Tarte blush. I've heard a lot of people rave about the Tarte blushes and when I swatch it I don't see how it's anything special but when I got home I put, I just tried it real quick on my face and they are very pigmented. This is what the packaging looks like and I think the packaging is very cute and this is what the inside looks like. I got the blush called Amused, so I'm excited to really get in that and see how that works. I got one more thing at Sephora. I usually just stick with my Sigma brushes. Um, my favorite brush from Sigma is the F80 Flat Top Kabuki. I just use this just to buff in my foundation. So I was looking for a brush to actually contour with. I think this brush may be a little too dense to do that. This is the Pro Flawless Airbrush from Sephora. It's number 56. It is very dense. And it would be good to contour, but maybe it's a little too dense for that. So maybe I'll just use my other Sigma brush. But 
this may be good to really just do a really good job of doing my foundation so we'll see how that works out but I'm excited for this. I also went to the drugstore. I went to Walgreens to just pick up a couple of products. I have never had a desire to use a BB cream. Um, BB creams, people go crazy over these and I don't know why. They are just a tinted moisturizer and they named it a BB cream. So I've never really wanted to get these because I like a full coverage foundation. But when I was at Walgreens, I was bad and I swatched this on the back of my hand. And this is like, this covers a lot. Here's just what it looks like, just a little bit. And like, look, like it is a lot of coverage. Like, I think it covers really good. I don't even know if you can tell, but but I just feel like it's thick and that it blends in very well. And I think that it actually might give me some coverage. Like my skin, like back to back, can you tell that this has no nothing on it? Look at that. Like this just looks very smooth. So I'm I'm excited to try my very first BB cream. I also bought this for spring. It is the color tattoo from Maybelline. And it is in Edgy Emerald. And I'm excited to try this. I just think that would be such a fun spring color. So that'll be fun for spring. I also from Walgreens bought this. It's just their eyeliner and it's in nude. And the reason why I bought it in nude is because I like to use a white eyeliner on my waterline just to brighten up my eye area. And I think that sometimes the white is a little too harsh, so I will use an eyeshadow to go over it. And so I thought that buying the nude wouldn't be so harsh. So I just bought the nude, nothing special, but I'm excited to do that. I also bought a lipstick from Walgreens, and I am very set on Revlon lipsticks. I don't stray away from Revlon because they're cheap and they work and they're nice quality. So I have a lot of just Revlon lipsticks. You know, I probably have like 10 or so Revlon lipsticks and they work and I like them. So I wanted to maybe try a different lipstick. This is from, this is from Rimmel and this is just their, this is just their lipstick. And this is in number 103 and it looks like a really pretty color. It's just very a fun color for summer. So I'm going to try that. But I paid around $10 for this when Revlon lipsticks are around 5 I probably will still stick with Revlon in the future. I just wanted to give this a try and see what I thought. I hope you guys liked my haul. I had a ton of fun shopping today. I got some things that... I wasn't thinking of buying, but they were out of the things that I wanted, so I bought a couple of fun products. Thanks for watching. Bye.